Welcome to the moon part one. This is video number 82. So let's talk about it. So Earth's moon is also called Luna or just the moon. It doesn't have a big fancy term. Uh, like we talked about in the last video, it is a natural satellite because it orbits the Earth. It is our closest neighbor in the solar system and it hasn't had any visitors since 1972, which was, you know, before I was born. So let's talk about the moon size. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about 25% the size of Earth, so it's much, much smaller. Uh, it's very similar to the size of Mercury. Remember our extra crispy planet. It is the fifth largest moon in the solar system, and it's second in density uh, to Jupiter's moon Io, which you guys will um, learn about as we go down the road here. So I'm sorry to tell you that the moon is dead. Well, geologically speaking, of course, uh, there is no air, meaning there's no oxygen as well. There's actually no liquid water, and I want you to underline that word liquid. It has very little, if any, core activity, so basically none. And it has no weather, so no wind and no rain, and there's no volcanic interruptions. So uh, eruptions. So this is why we kind of say the moon is geologically dead unlike our planet, of course. So let's talk about the moon's orbit. Well, the moon travels a path around Earth, and of course we both travel around the sun. The moon takes 27 days to travel once around the Earth, and the moon's orbit is an ellipse. So I want you to look at the two pictures down here. So the blue one that you have there is actually a circle, and the red one is an ellipse. And you can think of an ellipse as kind of like a flattened oval or a squished or funky circle. So road trip, anybody? So if we wanted to go to the moon, we'd have to go 250,000 miles from Earth. If we were all to get in the car, it would take us about 130 days or six months. Of course, providing we can get the car in space. Uh, if we want to take a rocket, take about 13 hours. If we want to travel by light speed, we'd take 1.52 seconds. Or, uh, let's uh, revert it back to Apollo 11, uh, it took them three days, three hours, and 49 minutes. So let's talk about distance and speed. So the moon travels uh, 1,423,000 miles around Earth, so that's quite a lot. Uh, the moon orbits Earth at an average speed of 2,288 miles per hour. thought you guys might like to know that. So the moon has layers, like ogres have layers, like the Earth has layers, and it's very similar to ours. It has a crust, mantle, and core. Um, in its crust, you will find rock, TI, anybody remember that one? Titanium, very good. Aluminum, and it has a little bit more than that than Earth. The mantle only has a lithosphere and a senosphere, so no bottom, no mesosphere for the moon. And in the core, you have iron, nickel, and that's similar to Earth, right? You have sulfur, and it's kind of partially molten. And how do we know this, you ask? Well, we actually took a size, uh, seismic waves on the moon when we were there. Well, not we, but um, when they were in, in 1972. So let's talk about a moon day. Uh, each moon day is 27 Earth days long, so that would be a very long day. <laughs> it's in a synchronized orbit, and I will um, show you this in class. So basically what it means is that if I'm looking at you at the camera, Let's see if I can do this. A synchronized orbit means that you're going to follow me like this all the way around. You're never going to actually turn. So we're always facing the same way when you orbit. And so you rotate once every 27 days because you have that synchronous orbit with Earth. So do we always see one side of the moon? And the answer is yes. It answers uh, its axis is once at the same time. Sorry, I'm trying to plug myself back in here. That it takes us to orbit once. This will make... All right, so does the moon have seasons? No, nope, moon doesn't have any seasons. Seasons are actually caused by the tilt of a planet, and we have a 23.5 degree tilt, and we have seasons, but the moon only has a five degree tilt, so that's pretty small, um, and that's not enough to cause it to have seasons. The other big thing I want you guys to know is the moon doesn't produce its own light, neither do we for that fact. The only thing that produces light is, of course, the sun. All right, summary time. So does the moon have seasons? Why or why not? What is the time length of the moon's rotation and revolution? Create a diagram of the layers of the moon and be sure to tell the differences between that and the Earth. And then draw a circle and an ellipse and explain the differences and which one uh, pertains to the moon. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in class.